Hi. This is KGMB 9, one of the good things about Hawaii. The season premiere of Family Law will keep you guessing to the end. CBS Tonight. You know that guy? Uh, yes, unfortunately. Yeah, he's a prime example of great potential misused. It's very sad. <laughs> Unlike you, who have the opportunity of achievements today as you set out on your journey to the top. Darling, keep your eyes open. You got a lot to learn. I look forward to it. And don't worry. I, I don't think any guy with your kind of wit and intelligence is going to be very long in the mail room. I hear you. I don't plan on it. May I say something? Your willingness to turn yourself around is very moving to me. And I'm proud of you. You know something? It means a lot that you believe in me, Lucinda. I do! I do! Mwah. Brian didn't want breakfast? No, apparently not, Matthew. He's too eager to get to his job. He took the job and mailroom job over his father's offer of a business partnership? Mm -hmm. Could it be the young man is developing principles? Oh, I got my fingers crossed, Matthew. <laughs> Ma'am, you must be exceedingly happy. Oh, yes. And you know what? The cream on the top is the look on Mr. Craig's face when he finds out that Bryant is not working for him. He's working for me. Isaac, just going to confirm that everything with Brian is as we left it. You mean, am I still giving him the job that he's not supposed to know you strong arm to get him? <laughs> However you want to say it. He's supposed to start this morning. Although I hope somebody told him a thing or two about how to mix a drink somewhere along the way. Well, Brian's a quick study. If you give him some encouragement, I'm sure he'll be fine. Just make sure that he doesn't know I have anything to do with this. Running my mouth is not how I got here. So I have your word on it. I thought that's what I just gave you. I like to be clear. You have my word. Good. Good morning. I've been thinking about you. You have? About your son and our dinner, and I still think the best way for you to get your son back is to repair some of the damage with the Munson. Starting with forgiving Jennifer for her part in the accident. Today's perfect. It's a school holiday. She's no probably home. If you want Parker, he's at the Munson's, and at this moment, Jennifer's the best way into that house. I said no. Do you honestly think I believe this bull anyway? This isn't about me. This is about Bryant. Making nice with Jennifer sets things up for him so that everybody can be friends again. Well, I'm sorry, but I am not going to be the go-between so your son can get his little girlfriend back. I'm asking the same question you always do. What's in it for me? Mm. Ooh, ah! <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Would you like a little more syrup on oh, your pancakes, no, sweetheart? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Oh. I told you my mother's pancakes are awesome. Best yeah, ever. They are. They're great. Well, now, don't let him bully you into a testimonial, you hear? If you don't like anything, you, you don't have to eat it. Here. Oh, no, they're, they're really good. They are. I, I'm, I'm just not used to eating breakfast in the morning. Oh. Molly didn't make you breakfast? Oh, sure. In the morning? She, she would have, but I just don't have a big appetite in the morning. Oh, I've never, I've, I've never known a teenager to sit down to breakfast. I mean, maybe, except on Sunday. And that's your father included, you hear? Um... Holden, why don't you go down to the cellar and, and get done? You're gonna need a little bit more syrup if you're gonna have seconds. Ah, uh, it's okay, Mom. I'm, I'm done. Well, would you would you mind going down and getting another one just so I have it for the next time? Okay? Sure. No problem. I, I don't know what shop it's on, so just take your time. It's down around in there. <laughs> you, um... <laughs> you really seem a bit miserable. Okay? Yes, you've been great to me since I came. What is it? What is it that's upsetting you? It's, it's Molly. I'm so worried about her. Oh, Jake, where are you? Hey, you reached the McKinnon machine. It's your quarter. Talk to me.
absolutely awful. I would have never gone if I knew he was on the loose, honey. He came after me, Jake. He came after me, came to the apartment, and Abigail was there. What are you talking about? I thought Abigail was in Smithville. Is she all right? She's fine. No thanks to me. She, she came to the apartment. She was at the apartment because her friend was sick in Smithfield. And David came to the apartment. He asked her questions, but but, but she, he didn't hurt her. And then, oh, no, my God, no, no, no. He was absolutely horrified. And he came and he took her away from him because he said that I, I couldn't protect her. And then on top of everything, the, the, the phone's been ringing and someone's been calling singing this song. But it's not a good song, Jake. It's a really creepy, horrible song. And it's David. I know it's David. And he's trying to make me crazy. It's him. It's Jake, I know it's him. He's he's warning us. He's warning us that he's going to hurt Abigail. Mommy, he can't. I heard him. He can't hurt anybody, right? <laughs> David Sandbeck is dead. I went by the office at the City Times this morning. He, he died in a shootout with the Chicago police. He's history. When? When did, when did he die? Last night. It's impossible. Why is that? That horrible little song? I just heard it, Jake. So if David's dead, then who's been calling? All moved in. What's for lunch? Chicken and star soup. Condensed soup? I used to eat that too. And then I got out of the high chair. You're an adult now. There's a better tasting soup. Progresso Chicken Noodle. It has tender pieces of all-white meat chicken and bigger slices of hearty vegetables with just the right seasonings. See the difference? Wow. This is better. Now if you could just eat without the bib. <sighs> it's time to go to the better taste of Progresso. You use Desitin, right? I love it. Well, the hospital gave me this. Desitin Creamy. Haven't tried that before. Silky, isn't it? Wipes off gently, too. <laughs> and it's still from Desitin. Desitin or Desitin Creamy. Nothing treats your baby better. Come cream save us from life save us. Kunlala cream. cream. Strawberries and cream. Can yes, can yes, life save us, yes. Cream save us. Yum. Now any kid can get behind the wheel of Jeff Gordon's race car. What? It's Jeff Gordon's Tonka Racing Thunder. It's radio controlled, so it steers just like the pros. Oh. The steering wheel really steers to the right, to the left. I'm really racing. Hear the thunder of real NASCAR engines. This race is on. These rookies are getting younger every day. Jeff Gordon's and Dale Earnhardt's Tonka Racing Thunder, each sold separately. That's tough. That's Tonka. It's gonna get cold. So get to Burlington Coat Factory today for the best selection of coats on the planet. Over 15,000 coats in every store. The same famous label and designer coats you'll see in fine department stores, but at prices way lower than their sale prices. That's why millions of people buy their coats at Burlington Coat Factory. So be smart for selection, quality, and savings. Nova comes close. Flu vaccine shortage. Find out how to protect your family tomorrow on The Early Show. On the season premiere of Jag, Harmon covers a secret that could reignite the Cold War. Listen to me. The season premiere of Jag, CBS Tuesday at 8, 7 Central. Did you know a single hair can help catch a killer? Hair only comes out in that form when it's yanked or pulled, signifying a struggle. That the sole of a shoe can help crack a case. Like watching a sunset, isn't it? This Friday. Mind if I take a look? Follow the evidence. First dead body, man. <gasps> and solve the mysteries. Anyone who pushes one of these hands could be the killer. Of crime scene investigation. Mommy's gonna go catch some bad guys. William Peterson and Mark Helgenberger. CSI premieres CBS Friday. I pride myself on having a well-stocked, well-organized, super clean bar. You do know how to clean up after yourself, don't you? I won't let you down, Isaac. Good. At the end of the night, you need to close out the cash register, bag the money, count it. In the morning I come in, I'm going to run through everything. If there is a problem, you will be joining me here on three hours of sleep to find the error. I'm a whiz kid with numbers, so don't worry. I won't, because any shortages come directly out of your check. I got you, man. Questions? Yeah. One. Shoot. Let's keep it real for a second. I'm not your favorite guy in the world, Isaac. We both know that. So why are you taking a chance on me? 
You know, I can't just waltz into House House and start chatting up Jennifer. Barbara would have my head. Barbara's out of town. She is. Perfect time to cozy up to Hal and Jennifer. And if Barbara's not there, maybe I could talk one of them into letting me have Parker for a while. And that would be a lot easier if you smooth things out with Jennifer first. I'll get my purse. What? <laughs> okay, so you were right. It's good to know you don't stick to your guns when they don't shoot. Look, if this works out, do you mind if I bring Parker over here for a few hours? No, of course not. And maybe you can tell Jennifer that you've forgiven Brian. You see, I knew it. I knew you were working another angle. You better get going. All right, I'm going to go and I'm going to make peace with Jennifer. But as far as anybody else is concerned, no one is getting forgiven until I'm good and ready. Yeah, concierge, this is Craig Montgomery. I'm entertaining a friend and her young child, and I need to make some arrangements. Well, I'll speak to him at the board meeting, then. Okay. <clears throat> Adam, there was a call for you uh -huh. on the other line. It was from the City Times. Apparently, Bryant never showed up. But he sent out for work. We saw him leave. I guess uh, we saw him leave, but that's all. Oh, not another accident in that damn car? Oh, no, no. If you'll permit me, I don't think that's what happened. You think he's up to his old tricks? His old tricks? No. If I may be so bold, I do believe I smell a rat. And the rodent in question is Mr. Bryant? Mm. Well, if you will stay here one moment, madam, I will explain. This had better be good. Well, you got quite an arm. I'd say that uh, we should see if we can get you hooked up there with uh, Rookie of the Year. Break it? Break? No, I can fix things that are broken. This is pretty well demolished. I would say, oh, I don't know, maybe it was going 60 miles an hour on impact. All right, that's a big nod. I'm sorry. Jake, I swear, I'm not making this up. I was just sitting there, and the phone rang, and the machine got it. And there's this, this voice, this person singing this really creepy version of that song, Beautiful Dreamer. Do you remember that song? Mm. It, this happened yesterday, too. When? Right after you left. And it's David. It's got to be David. It's just a kind of sick stunt he'd pull to let me know that he's out here watching, lurking, just, just trying to get Abigail. Thing that he would do. Mm -hmm. Did Holden know about the call? No, but he knows David Stenbeck. He knows that he's twisted. And so he came over and he took Abigail away because he says it's too dangerous here. Listen, and now I've lost her, Jake. Dangerous, honey, because David Stenbeck was dead <laughs> in the morgue on a slab of marble. He was dead before. He was bet dead and buried and he came back. It's different face, different name, but the same guy. He's like the undead, Jake. And he's, he's out to get revenge on me. He's out to make me think that I'm going nuts. Okay, listen to me. You've got to listen to me and you have to believe me, okay? David Stenbeck is history. But the song... There was probably somebody helping, helping him out. Somebody was on the payroll to, to harass you by, by playing that recording. Somebody who didn't know that David was dead. Now it's all over the papers, and, and whoever was responsible for this will we'll find out and, and, and leave it alone. It's history, okay? History. How do you do that? How do I do what? Tell you things I don't want to hear myself. I calm down. Stop. Think things through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guess I'm a pretty talented guy. Mm. How was your trip, talented guy? Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's quiet. Hard. I, uh, went to a playground where Vicky and I used to meet up when we were kids. Oh, I spent most of my time talking to an empty swing, told it that I could... That I had a... reason to move on. The name of that reason would be Molly Connor. Something. 
We're always going to have the past. But what's more important is right now, what we have right here, right now, we got a chance to do something great. Let's not screw that up. I swear to you, I love that smile. <laughs> you know, why don't you take a shower? No, no, get some, get some clothes on. Let me get this straight. <laughs> you tell me to put clothes on? Yeah. I think I've lost my touch. No. Oh, no, we're going out. Where? Rescue mission. Don't you think it's time we get your daughter? Some nights, we crave a warm way to wrap up the day. New Sara Lee Calzone Creations. A seasoned crust generously stuffed with the finest ingredients like vine-ripened tomatoes, roasted chicken breast, and savory Thai spices. Everything you crave in no time. New Calzone Creations. Nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. Victoria's Secret introduces the new natural miracle bra. Makes you feel more natural, makes you feel more confident as a woman. Very comfortable. Feels just like natural skin. When I wear the natural, I just feel feminine and more sexy. There's no other bra like it. It gave me more cleavage. Instant cleavage. <laughs> I felt confident and sexy. You feel good about your body. Sexy, sexy. Feeling is believing. The new natural miracle bra. Only at Victoria's Secret. There's a new prescription treatment called Remicade that could change your life by giving you lasting relief from the pain and stiffness of rheumatoid arthritis. Your doctor may add Remicade if you are on methotrexate already and not responding well. You take one dose of Remicade every eight weeks up to the first three doses. Of course, Remicade is not for everyone. Serious infections requiring hospitalization have been reported. If you are prone to or have a history of infections, currently have one, or develop one while taking Remicade, tell your doctor right away. There's a risk of serious infusion reactions with hives, difficulty breathing, and low blood pressure. Ask your rheumatologist about Remicade or call today. In this country, people have certain inalienable rights. The right to customize technology at a fair price. The right to learn how to do amazing things with it. The right to a computer that's up to date. To technical support anywhere, anytime to try out everything and buy nothing. So may it ever be. In gateway country, people rule. Call 1-800-GATEWAY. Hey, Jen, would you mind looking out for Parker for a while? I guess so. What's up? Well, Adam and Will need new sneakers and school's out today, so we've got a real narrow window of opportunity here. I take Parker, but the big guy fell asleep after he had breakfast, so... You didn't have other plans, did you, hon? Me? Plans? Dad, you gotta have a life to make plans. Look, Jen, I know you're still bummed out about Brian. Let's not go there, Dad. I'm not lecturing. In fact, I'm trying to do just the opposite. I am trying to say thank you. For what? Being such a loser that I'm cleaning my kitchen on my day off from school? No. For taking such good care of this family while your mom's in New York. Don't think I don't see that. I won't be long. It's okay. Uh, did 
Did, did you see my dad? He just left. I know. I waited for the boys and, and how to leave before I knocked. I was hoping I could speak with you alone. Um, that's something in particular? Yeah. The accident. Bartender's guide? I found it in Bryant's room. Now, Matthew, you know what I feel about privacy. You weren't snooping, were you? I recently discovered that the liquor cabinet had been tampered with, and several bottles of liquor were missing, along with other accoutrements from the bar. You think that... Bra no, 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 no. It's more likely that Miss Rose was helping herself. Miss Rose's tastes run more towards wine coolers and pink squirrels. <sighs> so I decided to investigate, and I found the missing liquor in Bryant's room along with expertly sliced lemon and limes in the trash. Well, maybe this was the remnants of a party that he, he threw for himself on the eve of his working life. That probably is the case. And though I don't remember or hearing any cars arrive, I suppose the, his guests could have arrived on foot. Point well made. Only one question remains. Where the hell is Bryant? A lot of kids like you when I was growing up. Smart, slick. Oh, none of them had the money or privilege that you do. They all thought the world owed them something. Talk about keeping it real. It doesn't. You've got to earn your keep in this world. That's real. Remember that. How can I forget? When Grandma gives me the speech daily, you should listen to her. She's probably smarter than you think. She's cool. Grandma's cool. But her idea of starting out in mine are like polar opposites. <laughs> she set up this gig for me in the mailroom of her newspaper. And if I took it, I'd be sorting through mail right now instead of gin and vodka. Hello? No brainer. <laughs> you had a job and you still came here? Pushing a mail card around. It's not a job, Isaac. That's a slow death, my man. But you did inform your grandmother that you were going to blow her off to come here. Yes? No, not exactly. I'll go home tonight and I'll tell her why. She'll understand. And if she doesn't, I'll explain to her. This is a much better gig. She'll, she'll understand. Get out! What's up? Man? What are you doing, Isaac? You heard me. Get out of here but now. Everything was cool between well, us, Isaac. Well, everything isn't cool. You go to your grandmother and you to explain to the, to the lady exactly why you blew her off to come here. Isaac, can we just sit down and talk? There's about nothing to talk about until you go to your grandmother. Then maybe we might have a conversation. I don't see how what happens to my grandma means any of your business, man. Everything that goes on in this club is my business. Therefore, somebody working here on the bogus tip becomes my business. You explain to your grandmother, and then you might come back here. Get out! Beautiful, Craig. Just beautiful. Have you told Holden how you feel about Molly? I, I tried. I really did. That Molly puts on the front, but really deep down inside, she's so scared. And with Jig not there, she needed me. But it's like the more I tried to say, the angrier he got. No. Do you know what I've discovered living on the farm this long? What? Well, in the morning, everything is fresher. The milk, the eggs, <laughs> and even people's perspectives. I think, I think that you should talk to your daddy again. Hmm? So you got long off? Hey, I think Abigail would like to talk to you. I'm going to uh, go up and make your beds. Oh, Emma, no, you don't need to do that. Let me help you. No, no, you talk to your daddy. It's very important. Oh, no, I don't hate it here. Emma's great. I have a beautiful bedroom, and, and there's a pond with tons of horses to ride. Well, then what is it? What, what's, what's the problem? I think that you were kind of hard on Molly. Molly. Molly, I, I should have... It's not Molly. her fault that the standby guy escaped and came by the apartment. Is she the victim here? Abigail... I already lost one daughter to that creep. I'm not about to stand by and watch him go after another one. You're blaming it all on Molly when it isn't her fault. 
it's nobody's fault. I mean, whose fault it is? The only thing that matters here is that you're safe. Well, why are you the only one who gets to decide what's important here? What about what I feel? What about what I want? Hold on, I love Molly and I want to be with her. What about that? Yeah, what about that? Car insurance bills getting too hot to handle? Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This is my final plea. I am a gecko. Not to be confused with Geico, which could save you hundreds on car insurance. So stop calling me. Geico. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. <laughs> Talk about a torture test. I took a leave to my two-day walk for charity. With my bad back, I needed something that wouldn't let me down a few hours later. My heart went out to some of the other okay. women. They took something else. A few hours later, they were hurting again. I gave them my leave, and they had a fighting chance. Just two a leave can stop pain all day. It would take eight Tylenol to do that. By the end of the walk, people were calling me, Hey, Aleve, like it was my name. So thanks, Aleve. And now, cold sufferers <gasps> can get the all-day strength of Aleve in new Aleve cold and sinus. New Always Ultra is now quilted. With six times more absorbent protection than women normally need. New Quilted Always Ultra. Six times more protection. Being a girl just got better. When we asked some denture wearers why they don't use an adhesive, they didn't have a whole lot to say. I don't need it. My dentures fit fine, thanks. I've not had a problem in 15 years. But then they tried fix it at, and they couldn't say enough. Makes them feel a lot more natural. I just plain forget I have them. They actually fit better. That's because fix it -It gives even the best-fitting dentures a better fit. It just proves you never know until you try. fix it -It and forget it. Sorry I'm late. You must be starved. Mom, dinner's covered. Oh, really? We made chicken parmesan. And chicken Alfredo. Ah, you found the new Chef Boyardee chicken pasta. Try Homestyle Chicken Alfredo. Tender chicken and pasta in a rich, creamy sauce. And Homestyle Chicken Parmesan. Breaded chicken and pasta in a zesty tomato sauce. For older kids with more grown-up mm. tastes. Great chicken, guys. Maybe I should work late more often. Uh-oh. We're gonna need some more Chef Boyardee. Homestyle Chicken Pastas from Chef Boyardee. <laughs> CBS Tonight, the switch will be thrown, and the comedy broadcasting system will hit the air. First, see why Kevin James is still the king on the season premiere of The King of Queens. We'll hope. And the series premiere of Guest Year. See that? Immediate submission. That's how Mommy got Daddy to marry her. Then, Ray and the family go to Italy. This wasn't in the brochure. On a special one-hour season premiere of Everybody Loves Raymond. Don't fight here. It's the Coliseum. The comedy broadcasting system hits the air. CBS Tonight. I'm Ken Mortimer. Constitutional autonomy is important to many universities. It could be a star that helped the university to navigate its future. With 10 campuses, over 46,000 students, and 8,000 faculty and staff, UH reaches every community in our state. UH Hilo is ranked among the best small colleges in the U.S. International business programs at Manoa are ranked in the nation's top 20. Let's make the University of Hawaii even better. Pull the UH autonomy ballot on November 7th. No wonder the Dirt Devil Vision is so popular. It never needs bags, has swivel casters for easy pushing and turning, and it's powerful yet lightweight. But if you want something really lightweight, give the Dirt Devil Vision Light a lift. It's the lightest full-size bagless upright you can buy without giving up an ounce of power. For power you can see, get a Vision, because nothing escapes the power of the Dirt Devil. The human heart can be like a ticking time bomb. That's why Straub has assembled the best heart team in Hawaii. 
The independent national rating service, healthgrades.com, reports Straub is one of the best in the country in heart care. Straub's Heart Center of the Pacific saves lives. So call now for a heart checkup. Straub, your partners in health. A secret love. I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Oh, yes, the pesky club band Oath of Silence. <laughs> A model romance. It's from a magazine? Yeah, yeah, she's in lots of magazines. No, she's my girlfriend. <laughs> a dream date. Two wine glasses! Oh, yes! That proves it's all right. Has Frazier gone loco? Oh, that is so sad. <laughs> For love? What do you think of me now? Frazier. Tonight at 6.30 on KGMB9. Drew's rock and roll girlfriend dumps him. I'll take, uh, you're better off without her. And you take, uh, I think I saw her in a porno. <laughs> you're better off without her. I think I saw her in a porno. So he searches for romance online. You were wonderful. Can't believe I did that in front of my troll dolls. <laughs> That's Drew. Tonight at 11.30 on KGMB9. Good afternoon, I'm Angela Keen. More legal challenges for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. This time, an attorney says he's filing a federal case saying it's unconstitutional. More on KGMB 9 tonight. Craig T. Nelson stars in The District, series premiere CBS Saturday. Emma's morning paper, I found it on the porch. Thank you. Stomach's dead. Dead as a door now. Finally. So I was hoping now that David's gone that Abigail could move back in with me again. Right! Because everything's different now. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's true, but, uh... What about next time? There's not gonna be a next time. Uh, hold on, you shouldn't stay, say stuff like that. It, it, it's like asking for something bad to happen. Molly doesn't need that right now. Molly... I don't want you to take this the wrong way, okay? But sometimes it seems to me like Abigail's the one who's taking care of you when it should be the other way around. No, that's not true. It's okay. It's okay. What about what happened at the end of Cut Awards? You actually let Abigail participate in your scheme to expose Katie. And not long after that, Abigail has to deal with Stenbeck all alone while you're over at Jake's. I already explained that to you. You already know that I thought that Abigail was safe at a friend's house. You're not being fair, Holden. Fair? I I'm trying to be fair to Abigail. Oh, well, then what about what I want? You know something, Mike? Bonnie, why don't you take Abigail for a walk? You know what, Jake? There's enough confusion here without you involving yourself, I all right? I already am involved. Okay, all right, whatever. Do you have a sweater, honey? Oh. On the porch. Say what you have to say. You got eyes, you, uh... They're a match. They love each other. Why do you want to come between them? <laughs> you know, Abigail is my daughter, too, and I happen to love her very much, and I'm just looking out for her here. That's all. Was that really it? Or is it that your own family's kind of a question mark right now, and the only thing you have left is Abigail? I came down pretty hard on you at the hospital after the accident. Yeah. It really threw me, seeing Parker in such bad shape like that. I was so afraid for him. So was I. Carly, I would give anything to do that whole day over again. I never meant to hurt him. I, I don't know what I was thinking. But obviously I wasn't thinking. I thought a seatbelt around him would be enough. It's okay. Parker's fine now. I am always so careful with him. I know you are. And I love him so much. I know you do. You must have felt awful. Brian feels awful too, you know. I understand that now. So you're not mad at him anymore? No. Not anymore. I had a lot to sort out, Jen, and, and when I did, in the end, I saw that what happened wasn't malicious. It was painful, but not intentional. It'd be a waste of energy to keep on blaming you. Thank you, Carly. 
Carly, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I, we had to be pretty good friends, didn't we, before I left? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were the inspiration for an entire line of clothes. Yeah, before I went and screwed up my whole life. Cut it out. Look at me. You're looking at the fiasco queen here. <laughs> and if I can smile through all of this, then you certainly can. You think we could be friends again? I like that. I could really use a friend right now. You got one. Um, Parker's still asleep, but he should be up any minute. You want to go see him? Yeah. Yeah, could I? I, I haven't held him in so long, I miss my little carrot top. Sure. And did I tell you, I, I have a place now. I'm staying at the Lakeview Towers. Hey, you're pretty upscale. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty something. I was sort of thinking maybe I could take Parker back with me for a little while. Of course, I'd bring him back as soon as Hal wanted. You think that would be all right? Sure. Well, it, it should be okay. Here's Mom. Why wouldn't it be? Thanks, Jen. It means a lot. He left here this morning to go to you, Mr. Finley, in the mailroom. So look around and call me back. Call me back in 15 minutes anyway. Matthew, should I be worrying? Not on my account, Darling, I hope. Where have you been? Did you have some trouble with the car? No, oh. no, nothing like that. Oh. No. Well, where have you been then? Because you started out to go to work. Yes, I went to work this morning. Yes. Yes. I just... I didn't go to the mailroom, Lucinda. I sort of have another job. You sort of? What's a sort of job? What kind of job is it? Attending bar at Java Underground. That certainly explains a great deal. Will you leave us, please, for a moment, yes, Matthew? You lied to me. I never lied to you. Exactly. Don't you play word games with me. You deceived me. And worse than that, darling, you have abandoned the opportunity at a legitimate business enterprise because you want to go and hawk drinks and hockey talk? Already gave me the job. Why didn't you mention the alternative job opportunity earlier? Because I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work itself out. No, I, that's not the truth. The truth is I didn't want to tell you because... I didn't want to turn into this big scene like it is right now. Well, I can, con I can restrain myself. I can refrain from cursing and scolding. I, a lot of things, scene-making. If you please just tell me why. I tried to tell you before, but you wouldn't why? listen to me. Listen, I, I don't want you arranging a job for me. I wanted to do something on my own. Brian Montgomery, find it myself. A job underground. I can be my own man. But it's a dead-end job. In a, in a saloon. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. But I've made up my mind, and I'm working for Isaac. Look, you threatened that I'd have to move out of here if I didn't find a job. I found a job, Lucinda, on my own. Now I'm going to have to move out now because you don't approve of the kind of job it is? I never thought I'd be out here again. With my stiff joints, sometimes just getting out of bed was a challenge. Then I discovered new Flexogen for the makers of Advil. It's not a painkiller, but a daily dietary supplement. It has both glucosamine and chondroitin. They work together over time to help rebuild and lubricate worn cartilage in my joints. Now my only challenge is making the shot. Flexogen. Look for it in your store next to Advil. heat that was your hair's enemy is now its best friend, Thermosilk. Mm, Happy birthday, Daddy. Oh, oh, hey, 
Campbell's tomato soup, huh? You always knew Campbell's was good. Campbell's creamy tomato, huh? You just didn't know how good tomatoes could be. Recent studies have shown that diets rich in tomato products are associated with the reduced risk of certain types of cancer. And Campbell's tomato soup is full of tomato goodness. All eight velvety smooth varieties. There's enough Campbell's here to last me a hundred years. That's the whole idea. Campbell's. Mm-mm, good. The exciting thing about this ride isn't the 90-foot drop. It's the woman in the front seat. She's got asthma, but she's got help. Help control your asthma with Singulair. It's a single tablet daily that's not a steroid, and it's available for children two and older. Ask your doctor about adding once a day Singulair and help control your asthma. Singulair should not be used to treat acute asthma attacks. Continue taking your other asthma medicines unless your doctor tells you to stop or change the dose. If symptoms get worse, contact your doctor at once. Side effects are generally mild and vary by age and may include headache, flu, runny nose, and ear infection. For more information about Singulair, ask your doctor. Help control your asthma with Singulair. What will he discover today? Baby power with the new Kickstart Busy Crib Center from Play School. One kick starts musical daydreams and <laughs> silly fun. And there's more to discover as he grows. Play School. Come and discover. When Tony Denza joins Family Law, things will never be the same. Stolen children. Coffee! Scandalous affairs. The senator was with two hookers while his wife was dying. Domestic violence. He's still Samantha's father. Give me a break. When it comes to the tough fights, don't let the suits fool you. Ah! These lawyers aren't afraid to get dirty. I want this son of a Watch your mouth, Ms. Holt. Don't miss the Family Law season premiere. <laughs> CBS Tonight. I guess it's high noon, huh? Only where's Gary Cooper when you need him? I didn't know you liked westerns, Lucinda. Well, I'm full of surprises, dear, as are you. I guess I'm... I'm glad that you can stand your ground. Well, thank you, ma'am. So what's it gonna be? Am I staying here in your Ponderosa? Or am I hot telling it out here? Well, I guess if you want to ruin your life, darling, you better have a place to hang your hat while you're at it. Gracias, Lucinda. You know something? I'm nuts about you. You know that. Oh, right? stop it. I love Come you. on. You know that? You're so much blarney. Get it. Don't tell all that to the barflies. Uh, don't worry about the job. It's a good thing. A very positive thing. I got it all figured out. Okay. Bye. I hope you do, dear. I hope so. Hey, one shopping spree down, two kids dropped off at sports practice, and cookie. Everyone's favorite. Oh, chocolate chip. Oh, Mom boy. would never forgive me if I let you gorge on cookie dough before lunch. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. I can't believe you just said that. It'll be our secret. <laughs> you know, you are in a decidedly better mood than before I left. That's for sure. I've missed that smile. Where's Parker? Still down for the count? Oh, no, he's up. Carly's got him. Carly? How'd that happen? Well, right after you left, she stopped by. We had a really long talk. It was so incredible, Dad. She forgave me for everything. I, I, I couldn't believe it. And it was after this soul-searching, forgiving conversation that she took Parker? She just wanted to take him home for a couple of hours. Isn't it all right? Home? Jennifer, I don't know where Carly lives. She's staying at the Lakeview. She said she'd bring him back whenever you say. Well, I say right now. Yes, Carly Tenney's room, please. Dad, I really didn't think you'd have a problem with it. I mean, you were happy that Carly came home when Parker was in the hospital. You, no. You said it helped him get better. I do not want you to ring Mr. Montgomery, sweet. What's wrong? Carly is living with Craig Montgomery. She is? She just said she was staying at the Lakeview. If my kid is anywhere near that son of a... 
I can't believe you let her take him without waiting for me to come home, Jennifer. Well, how was I supposed to know you were going to go ballistic? I am not ballistic. Look, I just assumed it would be all right. I mean, you've been arguing with Mom a lot lately, and you've been taking Carly's side on a lot well, of things. Well, today I am not taking Carly's oh, side. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I guess I'm supposed to read your mind. Guess I can't do anything right. All right, Parker, now you're going to have to be patient with me because I just moved in and it's not exactly kid-friendly. Hey, everything okay? I was concerned. You were taking a long time. Hey. No, I, I just... We went to the park <laughs> because I didn't think there'd be too much for Parker to do here. Well, neither did I, but... Huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you did. You did all this for Parker. Well, if you want your kid to visit, I think it makes sense uh, if he wants to come back. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Maybe I am trying to make up for the last several months. I've been so busy dealing with my own problems that I just kind of lost track of Abigail's life. Well, that happens all the time. I mean, we get busy, you know, but the, the thing is that Abigail and Molly are very close. I mean, Molly is, she's becoming a real mom. That's the problem that I have, Jake. You see, Molly, she doesn't have a lot of experience in the motherhood area. Well, okay, so she's not a traditional apple pie, bacon, ham kind of mom. But yeah, she well, maybe that's what mom. Abigail needs right now. She needs something more traditional. Yeah, she's had a very rough a long year. time with a woman who wasn't exactly traditional. I mean, there was almost never a brownie's bacon in the oven, and, and, and she did rather throw a sock at you than mend one. But there wasn't a question that her children couldn't ask her because they knew that... that... She had their backs. You talking about your late wife? I'm sorry. Well, then I just think he was a good mom. And how are the kids? How have they been since she's been gone? Oh, they, they still have her. I mean, they... You know, they keep her in here. See, Vicky... I don't know, Holden. She knew exactly what those kids needed when they needed it. And Abigail and Molly, they, it's the same way. I don't... I'm sorry, I don't really think I'm stupid. It's like they have a... mind meld connection or something. I mean... One of them's hurt, the other one feels the pain. One of them, one of them laughs, the other one can't stop giggling. It's like they're like, like they're two halves of the same part, or they or they they, they need each other to be a, a whole person. You know, I mean, I, I understand that's not like other mothers and daughters, but it but it is real. You know, I know you're having a run time right now. <laughs> but I think you need for their sake, to stand back and then discover each other. I, I mean, they've lost too much time and, and, and too much joy. Don't make them lose anymore. I mean, you and I both know life, life is too short. Lysol presents Facts of Life. That was my lucky marble, Dad. Fact. One person's trash is another person's treasure. Yeah. Fact. Kids are not leak-proof. <laughs> Fact. Lysol products are the best because they kill 99.9% .9 of germs in seconds, and it's the number one brand recommended by pediatricians. Fact. A human's fascination with water begins early. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. Freezing chicken. Only new Ziploc Double Guard freezer bags have an inner layer that clings to seal out air that causes freezer burn. Regular freezer bags don't. Put an end to freezer burn with a new Ziploc Double Guard freezer bag. Freezing steak. Only new Ziploc Double Guard freezer bags have an inner layer that clings to seal out air that causes freezer burn. Regular freezer bags don't. Put an end to freezer burn with a new Ziploc Double Guard freezer bag. I told my doctor when a migraine hits, my day is shot. She told me about a different kind of migraine medicine. 
Today, Imitrex can target your total migraine, target the throbbing pain, nausea, sensitivity to light and sound. Some other medicines just dull the pain. Imitrex was the first medicine of its kind believed to target the nerves and blood vessels that can trigger your total migraine. There are lots of prescription migraine medicines, but Imitrex is America's most prescribed. This is the way it ought to be. Imitrex is not right for everyone or every migraine. If you have certain types of heart or blood vessel disease or uncontrolled blood pressure, you shouldn't take Imitrex. Very rarely, certain people, even some without heart disease, have had serious heart-related problems. So talk to your doctor, especially if you have risk factors for heart disease, such as smoking, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol, or if you are pregnant, nursing, or taking medications. If migraines are disrupting your life, tell your doctor and target your total migraine with Imitrex. Recently in Indiana, something strange happened. A family came to dinner when called. Meanwhile, in Boston, chicken Alfredo was served. It disappeared. These events were traced to the freezer, where this was found. Inside a meal with chicken and vegetables, kids actually like. Who could be responsible for these strange events? Oh, oh, oh. Green Giant complete skillet meals make dinner a giant success. Get an inside look at the new fall TV season. Let's rock! Stop by Target for a free fall entertainment guide. Really? And check out all that CBS has to offer. Don't you think it's a good idea? All the action, all the stars, all the laughs. <laughs> Pick up your fall entertainment guide at Target today. Mrs. Walsh. Hello, sir. Something I can help you with? Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, tell me something. Why would a man with a successful establishment like this need to hire a kid with no experience? Well, I, I didn't need to. Brian's smart. Quick. With plenty of personality, gets along with all the guys. Good looking enough to keep the ladies drinking. He'll be a real asset. To my knowledge, he has never, never had a bartending job in his life. Aren't you worried when the crowds come in? Do you have sufficient insurance, spillage, breakage? You could have a one-man disaster on your hands in this place. <laughs> well, he's a quick study. And he's got, uh, you know, personality and image. And in my business, that's 90% of the game. And the knowledge of how <laughs> to mix a drink, wouldn't that be an asset? Right, yes. yes. And I, I tested him, and he did fine. You know, he's got plenty of motivation as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, there is. There's something very wrong. It's the timing. Because today was a day when he was going to start a job for me at the City Times. And guess what? His father has just decided to return to Oakdale permanently. His father? Uh, Craig Montgomery. His father, Craig Montgomery. Do you know him? What's your point? Ryan thinks that he got this job on his own, and I have my doubts. Oh, no, he did. He did. He's got the goods, Miss Walsh. He's got the goods. Okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Isaac, uh, if Craig Montgomery is behind all this, I'll find out. You can be sure of that. Beautiful, Craig. Just beautiful. Jen, what are you doing here? I, uh, I don't really know. I, I, I just had to see you. You know, with the exception of those few days at the hospital when Parker was hooked up to all those terrible machines, this is the first time that I've been alone with him in eight months. Well, you're glowing. If I am, it's because of you. No. Oh. And you, you have quite an appetite. What do you say that mommy goes in and checks on that ice cream I promised you? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Would you mind uh, no, watching it for no, me? No, no, no. Thanks. You can show me how to shovel load a cookie. Huh? You like cookies? Pizza? Oh! A knock. <laughs> we must get here and take this. Let us fly to the door. Quickly, quickly. 
quickly, my lad. Take this, we shall fly. We shall fly, fly, yes. Here we come, here we come, here we come, here we come. Oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing with my son? Jake and I talked. And? He thinks that you two need to be together. What do you think? I think that Jake can be very persuasive. <laughs> Thank you. You better look out after her, though, Molly. I will. I will. Because I'm going to be watching you. I got a lot of time on my hands, all right? <laughs> you say we go upstairs and tell him that we need to pack your things. Okay. Hold it. Thank you. You know, when Holden came over and put his foot down, demanded that Abigail go home with him, I felt trapped and controlled like I was a teenager. Because 17 years ago, I gave my baby away because people told me that I didn't have a choice. And now it's like I got her back. It's all because of you. No, 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 it wasn't me. All right, whatever it was, I'm never going to forget this as long as I live, Jake. Some nights, we crave a warm way to wrap up the day. New Sara Lee Calzone Creations. A seasoned crust, generously stuffed with the finest ingredients like vine-ripened tomatoes, roasted chicken breast, and savory Thai spices. Everything you crave in no time. New Calzone Creations. Nobody doesn't like Sarah Lee. Christmas collection. Bells ring, are in the lane. All your the favorite best. artists. Just nuts roasting on an open fire. The Drifters, Aretha Franklin, Jack The Temptations, The OJs, Jerry Butler. Oh, holy night. Bring a soulful Christmas into bright. your home. 32 classics on two CDs or two cassettes. Bells will be ringing. The glad, glad Order with your credit card and get a free bonus Christmas album featuring Otis Redding. Merry Christmas, baby. Should it treat me nice? That's three albums, 42 classics. I'm dreaming of A merry little Christmas. So call now with your credit card and get three Christmas albums. Call 1 800 619 4200 to order Soulful Christmas for $21.99 for two cassettes or $26.99 for two CDs plus $4.99 shipping and handling. Use your credit card and receive a free bonus album. That's 1 800 619 4200. Or send check or money order to Soulful Christmas, Department 1, Richmond, Virginia 23280. The evidence leads us to believe that it was, in fact, a homicide. We solve, we restore peace of mind, and when you're a victim, that's everything. William Peterson and Mark Helgenberger in CSI premieres CBS Friday. I never agreed to pay her back. Coach Jones supports Aloha United Way's youth programs, like the one at Hale O'Ulu Alternative School. 
because he knows that before...